17 years ago, Glennis and I did much of the Rockies in a motorhome, so we would be revisiting a number of sites along the way. These all happened on day two. We were to be wined and dined much of the way. The weather was not promising, but we departed along the Fraser River and were soon into the Fraser Gorge, much of which we took in over a leisurely breakfast in the dining room on the lower deck. By mid-morning we reached Hell's Gate, the narrowest part of the Fraser Canyon. The train slowed and everyone was up on their feet to take in the view. This spectacular feature even has a gondola linking the highway on the far side with this side which accommodates the Canada Pacific Railway. That's us. The next point of interest was the Cisco Bridges, where both the CPR and the CNR cross the river. There are times when trains from both companies can be viewed together on their respective bridges. On our left hand side, we won't see it anymore until tomorrow later on when we get closer to Jasper. So... Lytton, the confluence of the Fraser and Thompson Rivers two of the mighty rivers of British Columbia and in earlier days, the main exploration routes. At this point, we left the Fraser to follow the Thompson for the rest of the day and most of tomorrow.
As we took lunch, we looked out on a landscape that was becoming increasingly barren as we entered the rain shadow area of the Upper Okanagan. We followed along the west bank of Kamloops Lake through stark cuttings and tunnels until we emerged on the fertile plains and the city of Kamloops, our overnight stop for the night. Day two and breakfast on the train. Today we will reach a small town called Little Fort. My interest in this place is because it is where our 1995 motorhome tour intersected with this trip. I spent a lot of time on the cold observation platform looking for what I remember of the place, a unique river crossing barge anchored by triangular support. Suddenly I saw it, easily recognisable and still painted in the same colours. Transportation for people by cable. Let's go down and have another closer look. Quite wide. Clearwater was another 17-year-old memory, as it was here we needed to visit their medical centre after spending the previous day exploring the wonderful Wells Grey Provincial Park. Day 2 and breakfast on the train. Today we reach a small town called Little Fort. My interest in this place is because it is here where our 1994 motorhome tour intersects with this trip. I spend a lot of time on the cold observation platform looking for what I remember of the place. A unique river crossing barge anchored by triangular supports on our side. On day two we had a wonderful view through the forward observation window. This happened because half our train was cast adrift at Kamloops as these carriages were bound for Banff on a different route. By now we were travelling up the Rift Valley bound by the Monashi Mountain Ranges on our right and the Caribou Ranges on the left. Ahead were the Rockies. Two meters, six hundred 
Yeah, so we're just about to hit the bridge. Let's, let's rephrase it. <laughs> I just like to keep everybody on the toes. I get a little bit in front of them. And that is a great picture moment as well. Of as we emerge towards the top of the valley, we cross the flat plains of Tetjon, Yellowhead, named after a red-headed Indian trapper. Mount Robson, the highest peak in Canada. We flew past it, partially covered in grey cloud, in just five minutes. In 1995, we camped overnight in a campground close to our rail line, but with a commanding view of this majestic mountain, which we enjoyed in full view next morning on a sunny day. As we left the camping area, we reunited with the Fraser River, for this is its catchment area. We turned into the Yellowhead Pass. The rail follows the road through this pass, alongside Moose Lake, and then on to Yellowhead Lake. Finally made Jasper. Very pretty little town. Finally we moved slowly into Jasper, looking much the same as it had been 17 years ago. Except then we enjoyed fine warm weather. Today it is bleak and cold. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look around now, this is downtown and this is Jasper, this is it.